Hello YouTubers! Went to a big event yesterday. Went to Quad State. It's put on by SOFA. SOFA, Southern Ohio Forge and Anvil. Uh, this was their 40th <coughs> anniversary, excuse me, of uh, Quad State. I think the four states in Quad State is Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio, and Michigan. Might be Pennsylvania, but I think it's Michigan. Um, I took a bunch of stuff down there that I had made and pretty much sold out, which was surprising. Now, if you know me, I pass on. If I get a good deal, I'll, I'll give it to my friends for the same thing. Same price I paid. I'm not out to make money, but down here I, I made some money. And uh, down at Quad State, and I spent my money. <laughs> I bought a lot of stuff that I needed to uh, expand my blacksmithing. Uh, let me go through some of the stuff I bought and some of it I know I, who I got it from and others uh, I'm not sure. Bought a nice two pound rounding hammer www.blacksmithsupply.com it is a nice rounding hammer. On. The, the face is round, but the, the, the striking side is round on one side and flat on the other. And they call them rounding and flattening hammers. I got a nice uh, commercial made one. This one I paid $36 for, which I thought was a good price. The guys right next to where I parked, they were great. In fact, they were buying stuff as fast as I could pull it out of my truck. So I repaid the money to them because they make, the guy there makes hammers. And I bought two hammers from him. They're both two pounds. He had three pounders also, but he said he quit using three pound hammers because he got tendonitis in his elbow and it was just too hard on his body. So I thought, well, I'll, I'll go to two pound before I get the pain. And they are a square face and this is a flattening hammer with a diagonal peen. Some of them are cross peen, some of them are straight peen, and this is a diagonal peen. And I thought this diagonal would work good for the way you stand at the anvil. Now these were $100 a piece, but don't flinch because I saw hammers that were way more expensive than that. Rocky Woodland Forge, Brad Holman. He's got a website. Uh, I'll just show you his card if you want to look him up see about getting a, a hammer from him they're real nice these are made out of 4140 steel and he says he has his own heat treating oven and he treat heat treats the hammers to the specs that they call for for 4140 and then here's the rounding hammer you can see how round the face is on it and here's the flattening side which is flat two pounders and one of the nice things that he likes about them and I agree is that the handles are more of a rectangle so when you're hammering and you want to switch to from the flat to the round you you can automatically index it where if, a, if it was a round handle it might uh, you might miss hit now there was another young man there and I was I was wanting to get some scrolling tongs. And I saw some and they were a bit pricey. And then I came to this guy's uh, big tent. And here's the scrolling tongs I bought from him. 90 degree bend and then the straight ones. But they're round so you can grab hold of things and turn them and just bend it right around the tong and get a nice round bend. Those were $30 a piece, 
And then I bought, I thought these might be really handy to have. They're uh, notch so you can hold a square or a round sticking straight out or out the side. This pair here was 35 so there's $95 in tongs. He also had a one inch drift punch and the way this is it's a drift punch because you would drive it in the hole and then it's tapered at the top so it'll drop on through and it's a one inch round and here are uh, a smaller set I think I paid ten dollars for this and I think this set of smaller punches was only five dollars and you've got like a slitting punch and three different size small punches which I thought that was a pretty good deal now I see a lot of guys using these rasps rasping the hot steel to shake it oops and uh, I didn't have any and there was a just a big box of brand new rafts I thought I see someone must have hit some wood with it but it's they cut um, these were I forget the price but it was four for ten dollars so I grabbed four of them I got two of the shorter ones and two of the longer ones Right, there's the type of rasp. If you know anything about them, make a comment and let me know whether they're any good or not. And then <clears throat> I bought one of these uh, brushes. Blacksmiths use these brush. If you can see, the bristles are flat and they more like rasp off or scrape off rather than just brush. I've noticed that using a round bristle brush just doesn't get the job done like uh, I see the guys scraping the, the scale off of stuff on the videos. And then I wanted to get some of these hammer and tomahawk drifts. So I got, this one was 22 and these were $21. I said, will you take 60 for all three? And he took it, so I got them for $20 a piece. What they, these are for, and this is just a commercial ball peen hammer, is you drive them through there and that gives you the taper so that when you put your handle in and, and uh, uh, wedge it, it bites in and uh, is tighter fit. And then I, I see the guys drive these in, then they form the cheeks on the hammers or whatever they're making, axes, while it's on there. So I got a set of those, that's one of the things I wanted to get while I was down there. And the guys right next to me also had some punches that I got these hammers from. And this is a slitting punch, and this is a round punch to go with it. And the way he described it is, if you have a piece of half inch steel, half inch wide steel, and you want to put a hole in it, if you use a round punch, you can only use maybe a, a eighth inch or a, a quarter inch punch at the most, and you're going to lose so much material on the edges that when you spread it out, open it up, it'll, it's likely to break. But if you use this, it's only an eighth inch wide, you can slit, slit a long slot, or punch a long slot, and then push this through, drive this through it, and open it up, and you still got a lot of material around the hole. So, uh, that's why I got these. Lots and lots and lots of blacksmithing stuff. Good prices and bad, both, or uh, good good prices and high prices. Uh, if you're into blacksmithing and you're anywhere near Troy, Ohio or can make it to Troy, Ohio for the the quad state, um, I'd do it. Next, I just went down Saturday which was yesterday. Next year I'm planning on trying to go down there and spend the weekend. Take Friday off work and spend three days down there. Hopefully I'll have a whole bunch of stuff made up to take and sell. 
it was a great time. I could have sold a lot more of what I had. I just I had a limited supply of it because I really didn't know what I was getting into. Um, can't wait. Can't wait, and it's going to be a year. Give me time to collect a bunch of stuff. Thanks for watching.